What if aging wasn't permanent? What if instead of getting older every year, we could actually get younger? Imagine celebrating your 70th birthday, but looking and feeling like you're 30. Sounds like a sci-fi movie, right? Well, the truth is, science is already exploring this possibility. Aging is more than just wrinkles and gray hair. Inside our bodies, every cell has a kind of biological clock. One of the biggest markers? Telomeres. Little caps at the ends of DNA strands. Think of them like shoelace tips. Each time your cells divide, those caps get shorter. When they become too short, cells stop working properly, and the body begins to age. But scientists are now asking, can we slow this down or even reverse it? Some researchers are experimenting with cellular reprogramming. In 2012, Shinya Yamanaka discovered that certain Yamanaka factors could turn old cells back into young ones. That means, in theory, we could reset the biological age of our tissues. Others are working on removing so-called zombie cells, old, damaged cells that stick around and spread inflammation. Drugs called senolytics are being tested to clear them out, helping the body feel younger. Then there's NAD+, a molecule that powers our cells and repairs DNA. As we age, NAD plus levels drop. Supplements like NMN and NR are designed to restore it, potentially giving cells a second win. And in some shocking experiments, scientists have connected the blood of young mice to old mice. The older ones started acting and performing younger, hinting that certain proteins in young blood may have rejuvenating effects. This isn't just lab theory anymore. In 2019, the TriM trial showed that a mix of drugs could reverse a person's biological age by about 2.5 years in just one year. Meanwhile, billionaires like Jeff Bezos and Brian Johnson are pouring millions into anti-aging research Research, hoping to extend human lifespan far beyond today's limits. But if age reversal becomes real, what then? People could live longer, healthier lives. Diseases like Alzheimer's, cancer, and heart disease might be pushed back for decades. Retirement and work could look completely different if 80-year-olds had the energy of 30-year-olds. Still, big questions remain. If only the rich can afford it, what happens to everyone else? Could our planet handle billions of people living far longer lives? And on a personal level, if we keep reversing our age, what does it even mean to grow old? So, can we reverse aging? The answer is maybe, and maybe sooner than you think. Science is getting closer every year. The real question isn't just when will it happen, but should we embrace it when it does? Now, I want to hear from you. If you could reverse your age, would you do it? Or do you think aging is a natural part of life that we should leave untouched? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you love exploring future tech and science, hit subscribe because the future is coming faster than we think.